Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is so good to see you here today. It's cookie day. We are ready for Christmas and New Year's. We're going to start it off with thumbprint cookies. We need something to fill our cookie jar. You know, you're going to pull this out of your attic or your Christmas stuff. We need to fill it up. I've got thumbprint cookies. This recipe comes out of my first cookbook. Making home cooking simple, easy, and delicious. Thumbprint cookies, they're so delicious. The perfect little bite cookie that's got different flavors in it, and you can go wild with this one. I've got three different choices here, and we're gonna do all three of them. Hey, let people pick. Y'all ready? It's as simple as what we have right here. I'm gonna go down the line and show you, and then we're gonna put this cookie together. It's a one bowl cookie. We're gonna be using all-purpose flour, white granulated sugar. We're gonna be using an egg yolk that we're gonna pull out of this egg here. Some salt. I'm using unsalted and salted butter. We'll show you that here in just a minute. Some vanilla extract and your favorite jams or jellies. In a large mixing bowl, we're going to add two sticks or one cup of very soft butter. Now the recipe calls for unsalted. I tend to use one stick unsalted and one stick salted, just because that's the way I like my cookie. But you can do both sticks unsalted. We're going to add in two-thirds cup white granulated sugar. We're going to take an electric hand mixer. And we're going to beat the butter and the sugar together until it's nice and creamy. This should take about a minute or two. You want to get that sugar combined into that butter. The color of the butter should turn pale and lighter than it was at the beginning of this step. I love this hand mixer, it is so quiet. This is a KitchenAid, I love this one. If you're interested in any of the tools that I use, I have a storefront from Amazon that's linked down below in the description box. We're gonna beat in one egg yolk, so I'm just gonna take my egg and I'm gonna crack it onto a small bowl. I'm gonna let all the whites fall out so we have that egg yolk there. Just go back and forth after you crack your egg. There we go. We're gonna add that to our mixture. We're gonna add one teaspoon of a vanilla extract. A little extra never hurt. <laughs> We're going to beat that in until it's well combined. We're going to sift in two and a quarter cups. This is all purpose flour. I'm just going to use my sifter and add my flour to it. That's one cup. Two cups. Do half of that. I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of salt and sift that all in there. We 
There we go. We're just going to mix that. We're going to start on the low setting. I'm going to bring it up and get all the dough off. I'm just going to go in with a wooden spoon and just get the rest combined. This should be a solid dough. I'm just going down to the bottom, making sure there's no excess flour down there. We want it all incorporated, which we have. Yep, that looks good. All we're going to do now is start forming the cookies. You're going to need a large sheet pan. I've lined it with some parchment paper, or you can use a silicone mat, or just lightly spray your pan. I'm going to be using a one inch cookie scoop. So you're going to go in, kind of drag it through, and then flatten it out at the top. Place it into the palm of your hand. We're going to roll it and form balls. like that, and then place it on your cookie sheet. Now as we do these, we want to leave room in between so that way we can flatten the cookies and they can bake in the oven. It's a very pliable dough. Got to give it a little squeeze and then roll it. One of my favorite times of the year for sure. I love all the baking making fun appetizers and dishes for Christmas, making it special. We're going to start getting the jellies going here in just a minute. Y'all let me know down in the comment section what flavors, jelly or jam, you want to use for your cookies. What we're going to do now is create that thumbprint in the cookies. Now you can use your thumbs for this or you can use a small spoon. What you want to do is make sure that you have a gully in the cookie. That way the jellies can fit in there. And press in and then just turn it. You can use your thumb. Just go in and form the cookie like that. Now as we're doing this, let me let you know that I do have two other cookbooks. So I have three volumes of cookbooks throughout the years that I've been cooking for y'all. You can find the links to them down below in the description box or you can go to my blog at katherinesplates.com and there's a tab for cookbooks. Now this recipe can also be found on my blog also. You're going to take your favorite jellies or jams and then we're going to take a spoon of it and place it right into the center of each cookie. I'm doing all three. Well, they're going to be in separate cookies, but that way it just looks pretty. Nice jewel tones. Just need about a teaspoon worth to fill the cookie. I'm going to go every third one. That way we can get all three flavors in here. I should tell you the flavors. I've got strawberry here, apricot, and then I have grape back here also. All right, I've got a squeeze bottle for the grape. I'm ready to place these in the oven that's been preheated at 375 degrees. They're going to bake for 8 to 10 minutes. We want them to be nice and golden brown on the bottom. All right, once your cookies cool on the pan, you can remove them and place them in an airtight container or your cookie jar or lay them out for everyone to eat. Look at how delicious those look. Ready for the holidays. Let's pick one up. It's nice and firm. Nice and golden brown on the back side. And that jelly has set. It's very important to let these cool down for that. Got my cookie jar. We need to fill the gnome up. Mm. 
Oh yeah, the first cookies of the season. Mm. Which one do I want? I'm gonna go for the apricot. Oh yeah. I wonder how long these will last. Not very long. I'm gonna have to start making another batch of cookies. <laughs> this batch makes about 24 to 30 cookies. Depends on if you're using the one inch cookie scoop. All right, let's go in and give these a try. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. They're very light. It's very buttery and it's very delicious. And then that flavor comes from the jelly or jam that you put inside the cookie. That's really delicious. My recipe for thumbprint cookies can be found in my first cookbook, making home cooking simple, easy, and delicious. You can also find this recipe in my recipe blog at katherinesplates.com. Just type in thumbprint cookies. All right. Y'all give me a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode.